Hello and welcome to a new episode of my series R Shiny Web Applications for Data Science. And today I want to show you how to fully control uh, the layout of your Shiny applications. So we will start with a very simple R Shiny uh, layout. We will add to it a sidebar with inputs. And then we will see how to create uh, and add multiple rows on columns in your uh, layout. So you can really control where to put the different elements of your Shiny uh, application. We will see also how to add multiple tabs and pages in your applications. And we will conclude by seeing how you can uh, change the theme and customize the different colors of your application so you can give uh, a unique look to your application. If you want to download the food code of this uh, tutorial and also get notified uh, when I publish a new video, you can join my newsletter on felixanalytic.com. That being said, let's start with a, a simple single layout uh, with this code. So as you can see here, we have to install and load the Shiny package, the Tidyverse package, which contains the dplyr R package, uh, where there is a Star Wars dataset that we will use uh, to make this tutorial a bit uh, nicer and funnier. And we will load the library GT, which allows you uh, to create and customize uh, tables. Uh, before going into the detail of this code, let's run it so we will see how it looks like. So as you can see here, we have a simple uh, shiny uh, layout, which is quite the default with the sidebar on the left here with an input on here, you can add uh, any element like table, like a plot, etc. So this is printed with this uh, GT uh, package. So uh, for example, here we have information about the different characters of the Star Wars data set on here. On the right, we have the uh, main panel that you can see here, it is this element with the GT uh, package creating this uh, nice interactive table. And the uh, sidebar here is uh, constructed with the uh, select input with uh, the label, the different unique, let me move this so you can see it better, and the different uh, unique names of the Star Wars data set. And uh, here for the selected, we have uh, the first character of the data set and we uh, allow multiple characters. And here on the server side, this is uh, the logic to create the output of the GT uh, table. So we filter it here by name, by uh, the different characters of uh, the Star Wars data set. And we uh, launch the uh, GT table and we make it interactive with the opt interactive function. So if you're not so familiar on you, you need a refresher about how to uh, create the UI on the server side on how it works works with the input and the outputs. Uh, you can have a look at uh, the first uh, video of my series, which I put uh, in the description of this video. Right now, let's see how uh, to add multiple rows. So you can really control where the different elements of your uh, Shiny application go. So once again, let's run uh, this new example of a very uh, basic layout. So the idea here is not to create a beautiful Shiny applications, but really give you uh, the sense of how uh, you can control the layout. So here, as you can see, we want to have uh, two plots. So here is two times the same plot, one on the uh, first uh, side, half of the left side, one on the right side, and then we want to add a new row with an uh, interactive table here below. So this is quite ugly, but that's uh, an example. So you can have a first sense about how controlling. And as you can see here, when the side of the window change, the uh, layout is uh, updating automatically. If the browser is more like a mobile phone, as you can see here, automatically the layout will update to have it um, row by row. And this is made possible by the Bootstrap uh, CSS framework, which is running in the background of Arch. So the way this framework works is that you have to add uh, different columns on rows. So to add rows, what you can do here, let me move it over here like this, is to add three 
row uh, that we didn't had in our previous example. So here we created only a thread page. Now, as you can see here, we have uh, two thread rows that are added uh, within the thread page function. And inside this, we added columns. This is the height of the column. So you have to uh, picture 12 different columns. That's uh, the grid system of uh, the bootstrap framework in the background. And this is uh, the way to make uh, your application reactive uh, when you move the browser moves. To separate uh, the different elements, you can specify the weight. So here it's equivalent to six uh, columns, which uh, goes until uh, half of it, as it's 12 uh, rows, as you have to visualize the grid system over here. On here, at the next uh, row, which is just below, we specify 12. So this is equivalent to 12 uh, columns, which is the full page, the from left to right. All right, let's move now to the next example. And I want to show you how to uh, add different tabs. So as you can see here, we have uh, different tabs that uh, shows different outputs. So to do this, it's quite simple. Uh, you have to create tab set panel function here with different tab panel function inside. And as you can see here, the first uh, argument is the title of this uh, tab. And after that, you just put uh, the out. So again, if you want to control the uh, layout of this tab, what you can do is just add a thread row and different columns in it, and you will be able to control the layout of the different tabs uh, in a similar way. So now if you have even more uh, content and you want to add uh, different pages, you can uh, run this code over here. And as you can see, uh, we have uh, this time a nav bar page with a different tab panel. So it's the same function we used for the tab set panel here. But this time we created, instead of a fleet page, we created a nav bear page with this nav bar uh, page function. And within that, so this time we have to use uh, the uh, title argument here to give it uh, a name of our dashboard. And uh, again, we have uh, the first element is uh, the name of the page and in it you can add different elements. So here we have a paragraph and uh, with the data, we use again the GT package to create a table and this can be again fully customized with the grid layout of uh, the bootstrap package, uh, the bootstrap, sorry, framework in working in the background. Now I want to show you how you can easily uh, customize the look of your shiny application. So uh, this can be done easily the bslib uh, package that is loaded over here. And with the bs underscore theme function, you can uh, choose uh, a bootswatch uh, theme. So here I chose the uh, Celeron theme, but you have a list of uh, themes that you can uh, try that allows you, as you can see, to uh, change the uh, color and uh, the font. So uh, it works uh, quite well uh, to just quickly give a different uh, look at your shiny applications. And finally, if you want to control uh, the colors of your uh, shiny applications, you can again use this BSL package with the BF theme. But this time, instead of using uh, the bootswatch argument here, we will uh, choose and define the background and here we can choose also a primary color and as you can see this allows you to uh, fully customize uh, the look of your applications and the BS lib contain a lot of different arguments on viable you can use to customize uh, fully how your uh, shiny application uh, looks so i hope you get a better idea about how shiny layout works uh, our shiny application were quite ugly. So in the coming video, we will see how to improve the look of your shiny application with uh, giving it a more modern look thanks to this BSLib R package. Once again, if you want to get the full code of this tutorial, you can join my newsletter on felixanalytic.com. And I see you in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.